just a very very quick walk around of my uh, Duke 390 KTM 373 cc single cast alloy rims by Bray which is sort of a subset of Brembo brakes front and back customized uh, stickering 43 millimeter upside down WP forks screen off eBay just a reduced wind blast make it look a bit different adjustable clutch and brake levers aluminium anodized KTM orange sprocket cover bobbins brake reservoir cover back brake reservoir cover oil plug uh, we've got single seat Sir, we are very sorry. The doctors have analyzed your scans. Their verdict is unanimous. Your infliction is very serious. It is inoperable. There is only one chance of been cured. Eat, sleep, ride, repeat. Eat, sleep, ride, repeat. Oh well, that was awesome. Just had a great lunch at the Cradle Forest Inn at Moena. Wood fired pizza, a couple of hot drinks, perfect. My name's I Ride, and today I'm riding with my wife from Moena back to Sheffield. She's up there on her Kawasaki Ninja 250R fantastic little bike and she's just got gotten off her P1 so she's now on her P2s she doesn't have to display her plates etc and so her riding's going great guns starting to develop some confidence particularly as we ride these uh, back roads and this is a spectacular bit of Tasmania through here and today, due to a few popular requests through the YouTubes and through the Facebooks, uh, I'm on my KTM Duke 390. I haven't ridden this bike for a couple of months. I've been addicted to riding the CBR 250R four-cylinder. So I haven't been on this bike for a while and uh, you'll excuse me for being a muppet if I screw up the gears or uh, pop a wheelie or something because it is so different to riding the CBR that being a four cylinder and this being a single cylinder so the Duke's a fantastic little bike I bought it as a stopgap measure more than anything uh, when my Harley blew up and I needed an engine rebuild I bought it basically to keep me on the road and it was a demo model 2014 got it for a song uh, they're normally like 6,900 and I got this for less than that with Red Joe and all these sorts of things which was a great deal and I just sort of basically bought it to keep me on the road with a new reliable bike that was pretty cheap and I've been nothing but impressed with this bike it's built to a price point so certainly uh there's a few things that I didn't like about it and that I've changed or I whinge about but all in all for the money you pay the bike is absolutely awesome the couple of things I didn't like are the levers both clutch and brake and I ditched them very quickly and I've bought some adjustable levers from eBay shorty levers too so I can sort of two finger rather than four finger and that's worked really well really much more comfortable there's a lot of play in the original levers uh, not so much that way but sort of that way when I applied the pressure and I, I just couldn't deal with it so I bin them very quickly I didn't hate the graphics that were on it but I took advantage of the fact that uh, 
they weren't clear coated on, they were just stickers and decals. So I've peeled most of them off carefully and I've customised the bike to my liking uh, with a little bit more simplistic design. Just a couple of brands. So the bike's now just majority white rather than sort of having the complex 390 decals that they came out with standard. I've uh, scoured eBay and I think I've bought every piece of bling available, sort of KTM orange, sort of sprocket covers and brake reservoir covers and this, that and the next thing, just uh, oil plug, you name it, I've purchased it and put it on the bike just to give it that uh, bling bling, make it look a bit different. I was a bit disappointed with the tyres, like it, this bike comes with Metzler Sportec M5 standard and that's meant to be one of the selling points of uh, such a budget bike with Metzler tyres on it and they were great while they lasted uh, but they're very soft and they tore up on these roads very quickly, I don't think I even got 5,000 out of the back tyre so I sort of researched them and found that they were quite expensive and quite difficult to get in this part of Tasmania so I shelved that idea and these days I run Dunlop Alpha 13s on this bike and the other bike and I couldn't be happier they are just as grippy in my opinion as the Metzlers and they've lasted a lot longer uh, they don't even actually look that worn at the moment so the Duke runs, even though it's called a 390, it's actually a 373cc single cylinder and as far as it goes, everything I love and hate about this bike comes down to that single cylinder. Uh, the bike itself is real light, it's only about 139 kilo from memory and it's got roughly 44 horsepower which is not bad going really for a light bike and I'm only a fairly small guy so it hums along it's absolutely right at the top end of the power to weight ratio that's available for lambs so this is actually a lambs approved bike and being single cylinder it does vibrate a bit and it's got weighted bar ends and a few things like that to try and reduce those vibes but uh, after a couple hundred K you do start to feel a little bit of it in your hands this idiot done. Yeah, you start to feel it in your hands and through the foot pegs, but I mean that's to be expected being a uh, single. It's also fairly savage in its fueling. And I put a quick throttle on it to try and minimise that. Uh, G standard I think it was like 88 degrees or something ridiculous and the quick throttle I've got on it now is 66 degrees so it's perfect that helps the fueling helps with the uh, wrist positioning so you're not jumping and chopping the throttle quite as much but yeah it is fairly savage it's either on or off um, it's it takes a little bit to get used to as you saw there it got a lot of engine braking and it, it's quite savage on the fueling it, it's a lot more like an on off switch the throttle than any other bike I've ridden and I'm sure if it was like the 1290 and it was fueled like this you'd absolutely kill yourself on it oh here we go <laughs> love riding with my wife one of my greatest pleasures she listened to me bang on about motorbikes for uh ages and then I had to go away for three weeks for work and when I got back I discovered she'd uh, borrowed the Virago 250 that we had at that time and secretly got a license and I was stoked and we've uh, ridden together a fair bit since we at least go out once a week doesn't like doing big rides long ride sorry she doesn't like going particularly fast but who cares I get to ride with my wife and it's great I love it wouldn't have it any other way just before I sign off on this vlog I want to just thank everyone for that 
overwhelming positive feedback of uh, my channel trailer and my first vlog. Thank you very much YouTube and I really can't sort of uh, thank you enough. I'm humbled by the amount of positive feedback and thumbs up and views that I've got starting the channel from scratch and also some positive technical feedback too from a couple of guys. Young bloke I mentioned before I did a shout out infamous he gave me some advice after listening to the video on uh, microphone position and a bloke called 650 jump on there and uh, support 650 he gave me some very generous advice about camera placement I'm gonna sign off. Hope you enjoyed this uh, second motor vlog. Thanks very much for your support. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment for more content. Thanks very much guys. I ride out.